Greetings to you all, and welcome to a short review of Lemon vs. Tilly. This is going to be me playing the game completely blind, never seen it before, never touched it before. I'm going to give it 30 minutes to try and impress me. After which, I will give an honest, short, frank review of everything I've just experienced. Right, let's crack on. You're off to a good start. And then we're off to a damn good continuation as well. When a game opens with two sausages and a magic gem, you know you're in for a real treat. <laughs> this makes sense to me. Teddy's already killed a million people. Got it. Zitron's a waste of space. Got it. Who will destroy the world? Me. Lemon. I think I'm Lemon. I shall destroy the world. Ooh, if I press enter it goes slightly faster. Only slightly though. Quite right, I can't let Teddy get ahead of me. Apparently I'm playing this game on keyboard. Does controller work? Of course not. Back to the keyboard. I'm being attacked by a biscuit. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Ooh. What an interesting system. So if we attack the head, we do bonus damage, but reduced accuracy. 69%. That's not a coincidence. However, if I attack the body, I do more damage with a higher chance to hit, so I should never attack the head. Got it. Attacking the leg seems good too. More accurate, but less damage. Let's body blast him. Fantastic. 5 XP, 2 bitcoins. That's what we like. Wait, apparently I'm the guy who's a complete waste of space. Dumb. That's not good. Hmm. Head damage is scaling faster than body damage. I was not prepared for the crumbs of doom, but I took them like a champ. You there, who are you? Wise words. Curses. He's got me trapped. Trapped with the biscuits. Ah, Zitrone. I'm a lemon. Got it. Thanks, man. Where'd he go? There's a fight over there. I don't want it. What an adorable world map. Unlike these carrots, they're not adorable. Let's go for the legs. Damn it. The carrots are discharging all over me. I'm actually gonna die soon, aren't I? No, I tried reading it backwards in case it meant something. Then I got a Ron Tal. Didn't work. Ice cubes heal me, that makes sense, I'm a lemon. Hmm. I like the sound of chill. Give me chill. That's a bit on the expensive side. Give me one ice cube. What kind of items do I have? Lots of ice cubes. Okay, fantastic. We're cured. Let's move on. This is tree. Nothing. It's a very mountainous region I'm in. Very strange. Also, is that a dustbin I see on the right? Hmm. Hmm. Also, I'm a lemon. Oh, I can avoid random battles. Look at me go. Who would throw away 20 perfectly good bitcoins in the trash? Right, but I need to fa I need to fight things, because I need experience. Out of my way. There's just no consistency with the damage numbers in this game. But I am one-shotting carrots, so... Okay. Oh, right, that makes sense. 
Boss fight. Bring it. We're going for the head. Right in his capsule head. That was the wrong button. This must be the boss theme. I like it. It feels really intense. It almost feels like cheating to use items in the middle of battle. But I feel like if I didn't, I'd be grinding all day. Damn it! Why do I always do this? It's, it's very strange. It remembers which body part I targeted, but doesn't remember which spell I cast. You tell him. Zitron. Oh. New team member. I like it. And a cookie. I like that too. I'm going to save the game. Why not? Onward. This place is terrifying. I'm going back. Seven turns, that's a lot of turns. Don't tell me I have to buy my new team member things as well. You should know, I'm incredibly selfish. Right, team's ready. Let's go. I just know, if I run past everything... ...without taking any fights... Tell me more about this menu. I like this menu, it's good. Switch character. Switch? I'm not switching. I'm chilling. Interesting. You're a healer. I see. I should have bought you something offensive to do, shouldn't I? Yeah, that weak damage is pretty high. for the one shot didn't pay off may as well take the time to that might not kill but it, it does more damage than aiming for the body so sure resurrector can't guess what that does I have done that, to be fair. It's a derisive tree. It's also a boss fight. Behold, I am defended Zitron. It's a strange ability. Tree should be weak to fire. That makes sense in my world. It's got a lot of hit points. Hmm. Hmm. I think I've been poisoned. It gets weaker with each use. Okay, fair enough. I mean, we're getting there with this. It's not fast, but... It's going in the right direction. It's 
Taking me to sleep seems somewhat irritating. Whacking me in the face is also somewhat irritating. The Citron does more damage. Mm. It does even more damage now. The tree's out of mana. I wonder if that's actually going to come into play. Or if that's just... A visual anomaly. Okay, it does come into play. But he can get his mana back the same way we can. Understood. Might be better for me if I set up the shield on everyone and just try to keep it up at all times. It's not like it's particularly expensive or anything. There you go, we've got a good loop of defense and healing going. Well, good enough, it seems. boss fight surprisingly involved given the state of the game I understand the crazy roulette does a wide range of damage there. Alright, Zitron, it's all over to you. Five attacks and we could have this. It's going to be six attacks. Better defend. Better wake up. Do I have any ice cubes? One. Go for it, man. We're going for the kill. Damn it, that's not... That's not good. I refuse to die here. Hmm. Why have I not been using this? Or this? Does it change every turn? Oh god damn it. This I don't like the way this is going. Just kill the damn tree. Oh heavens. It's hard to believe, but you can actually defeat. I've forgotten what it's called already. Go I want to say ghouls and ghosts, but that's not right. There's goblins in there somewhere. Whatever, the old game with Arthur. You can defeat level one. It's possible. I've done it. Not first try. Well, I don't think I need the cacti. Okay. 
good. Can't afford that, that's fine, whatever. Right, that's that problem circumvented. The game saving rather often. What are you? No. I'm holding no encounters, by the way. I'm just checking the rooms I never went into, because by fluke I apparently went straight for the exit. Wonderful, let's continue our little adventure. You there, man. No, I didn't know that. How oh, interesting. Interesting stuff. Also expensive stuff. I question the practicality of a dustbin that needs a key. Hello, Teddy. That's a, not a bad deal, actually. Our party keeps growing. Let's go, Teddy. Aren't you the evil one who's trying to destroy the world? Ah, never mind, it's fine. When did I learn crazy roulette? Oh, well, don't ask questions, just go. Not bad. You can now chill. I feel like this should be very powerful against snowmen. It is. What do you know? Sounds strong to me. Get him with bear. Should I keep pretending I understand what's going on? I'm trying my best. I don't think it's very convincing, though. So it seems at the start of every round, the variable stats lock in for the different targets. So once I've decided, I probably stick with it. Not sure how much I should be leveling up here. That's the other problem I have. Go on, let's go for the big hit. Lovely. Is that snowman drinking coffee? Is that what that indicator means? Should I be afraid of this?
I mean, we're leveling up pretty quick, so that's nice. I'm sure that's relevant in some capacity. I've learned Euphoria. In a situation like this, two of us should meditate while the final one gets the kill. Getting the kill early doesn't do us any favours. Seems it doesn't matter which way round I went here. Both paths just lead to the same point. I can believe that. No, you should probably meditate. The bear is happy and laughing. If that doesn't fill you with fear, I don't know what will. Ready? One virus, dude. There's a good chance to get some mana back, I guess. Nice to know that what virus actually does is it just makes me weaker. It's not making me take poison damage. I, I guess I could have worked that out by myself, but still. I'm genuinely surprised he survived that. Whatever, nature him. I'm shimming a little bit with the shift key now. Level 12 feels pretty good. Just see if we can push it a little bit now. It's a toilet paper. I want that. Teddy, how could you? We don't have any spoons. It's not like we want it this way. Curses. Rabbit. If you say so, is not pleased with us. Understandably so. This lack of spoon will not be forgiven. He's quite strong. Watch yourself. Right, what's the most damage we got in single target? Probably crazy roulette. This boss fight's gonna take a while. He's bringing the whole universe down on me. Seriously, this fight's gonna take quite a while. I need to watch out for these squares. Also, that's game over, right? Why does a floppy disk restore mana? I have so many questions.
I believe in my trusted teammate. Actually pulling up more of a fight than I ever thought she could. Seems you need more HP before going into this battle. Achievement unlocked, game over. It's my kind of achievement. I wish I could look at my achievements somehow. I feel like I'm going to have to grind a lot before that fight. Let me let me shift run around and see what was on the other side of this cave. Okay, that was short-lived. What should we do then? Should we grind a little bit? Just a little. There was quite a lot of money. What could I buy? There were new abilities I could buy, right? Maybe that'd be useful. Sure. I mean, that's a good colour for Doom. I just realized I'm earning hundreds of Bitcoin per fight. So I can really buy some decent stuff. That makes an ally deal more damage. That makes an enemy do less damage. I mean, that's more important. Obviously, we don't give anything to Teddy. Generation probably better than Fury, but I'd rather have Fury. Oh, you can have multiple. Okay, well, this changes things. Uh, no way, I've done that the wrong way around. You have the damage, you have. The agility. Get a load of cookies. One resurrector. A load of ice cubes. Right. Back to battles. Pigs, you say. Interesting. Just grind a tiny bit, and then I'll retake that boss fight. I'm not sure what I'm grinding for. Maybe one level, and then I'll just run through everything with the uh, no encounters. Not a level on Teddy.
All I really want is Daddy to constantly be using Yellow Doom. Then we can get through most things. Okay, there we go. There's our levels that I wanted. We will uh, quick heal ourselves up. Even Teddy. Yes. We will go here. We'll buy... Some cacti, another resurrector, some more ice cubes, cacti, everything. All right, fantastic. Now, final act of the game. We're going to try this boss one more time. We're leveled up. We've got some new skills. We've got more HP, we've got more items. We're feeling good. This piece of trash steals our sausage. He tries to eat it without a spoon like a maniac. But we're in. Need to make sure this hits. Go for the most accurate spell we got. That's good news. In the meantime, you want to do your most powerful attack, which I don't even know what it is. Probably virus. Let me set up the shields. Off to a fantastic start. It's interesting how Virus is both of my characters' best attack. gonna get us with Square of Doom soon, you can just tell it's coming. I'll refresh this because I can't count. Square of Death, not Doom. My mistake. I'm not even going to need those items I bought. The difference maker here is Virus, lowering his attack. I see. Let's get the cookies out. Nearly made a mistake there. Caught it just in time. Safety first. Why do I have so few ice cubes? Didn't I buy about 30 of these? The enemy having to meditate helps. Just kill him. Ignore everything, just kill him. Fantastic. We got the HP box. We got the level ups. We got the ancient scroll of knowledge. And now I'm going to walk out of here with no encounters on. Well. 
I can get a feel for how long the game is. It was quite long, actually. One sausage encountered. Does that mean we're a third of the way through the game? Maybe it does. But that's going to do it for Lemon versus Teddy. Time for my thoughts. Uh, this game is... weird. So it's trying to be kooky and wild and... zany. Zany is a good word. It's trying to be zany. It's okay in small doses if it was underpinned by a good game. The problem you've got here is that the battle system is okay, but it's hindered by a very bad UI system, very bad quality of life. Things like skills appearing in the spell menu in the order in which I acquire them, rather than in some preordained order. Which means weak spells can appear lower down, depending on when I bought them. For example, maybe that's a bit nitpicky, as my first example I go to. But... It doesn't feel clean and polished. Obviously there's no animations, obviously the graphics are... I mean, what graphics, right? But that's what we're going, going for with the flavour of the game. It's okay, I'm not going to criticise the mountain range for being one repeated tile, because... They're going for crude. But... Everything feels... When when everything is so crudely done and so basic, there's no enjoyment left in the game. And the only enjoyment you've got left in the game after that is the story, which is... It's just supposed to be... Bonkers. It's a nonsense story. Which is okay if it's absolutely hilarious, but it's it's not... I mean, it's random, is what it is. Sausages and a magic gem, okay. But th there's no humour there, it's just... I just opened a dictionary and picked a random word. It's missing It's missing quite a lot to tie this together as an entertaining game. I mean, you can play it, maybe, for a few hours, and it's okay. But there's so many better free games out there that, honestly, I wouldn't waste. Thanks for the save. I wouldn't waste your time with this. I think this is someone's personal experiment for learning to program. That's how it feels. It feels like somebody learned the basics of programming a game and so they threw together an RPG to prove they could. And then they didn't think too much about the story, they didn't think too much about the art, they didn't spend too much time on anything, they just made a bare bones world map, a bare bones battle system, slapped it all together and said that's good enough, I'll put it on Steam. Why they put it on Steam, I don't know. Th this does this isn't worthy of being on Steam, which is not true actually. Steam's full of utter utter trash. This is worthy of being on Steam, but it shouldn't be a game that you present to other people as here's a game would you like to play it. It should be something you present to people as here's my project. Can you take a look at it? Perhaps make some suggestions. Perhaps see if I have potential. Give me some ideas on what I can work on. It's not something you should really hold up to the world as a bastion of your accomplishments. More, it should be an example of how you started out, if you know what I mean. Um, d different people have a different way of handling this kind of thing. Some people will rush to proudly get their first production out into the world. Other people will hold it back until they have something they're really, truly proud of and that's really impressive before they put it out to the world. Because you can sour people's opinion of you if you put out substandard games before you put out a decent game. But hey-ho, that is up to individual taste. And I realise now I'm kind of gone all philosophical when I'm supposed to be evaluating this game. It's not good, it's not worth your time, don't play it. That's my opinion. If you want wacky, zany humour, maybe. If you're eight years old and you think sausage funny, maybe. Beyond that, don't waste your time with this. A bit harsh, a bit brutal. I'm not usually so down on these games, but this one is just then doing it for me. I'm not going to lie and pretend it is, because I'll just do you a disservice. But hey-ho, that's my opinion on Lemon vs. Teddy. I've been Artigo Omega. Sometimes I do these short gameplay reviews where I give them half an hour, an hour or so to try and impress me. This one failed to do so. I'll put some links on the screen if you'd like to check out some more or to do less plays. 
which I'll put one of those on the screen too. Hopefully you'll join me for one of those, and I shall see you then.